I'm out here in beautiful Arizona. I'm going to be testing out my reduced 60% loads for the M1 Garand. Uh, I've got a number of 125 uh, Sierra Pro Hunter Spire points with a, a various amalgamation of different powders. I'm going to be doing uh, two things today with my M1 Garand. First one is going to be an accuracy test on reduced 60% loads. Meaning uh, I've got IMR 64. You go to the max powder range. You multiply that by 0 0.60, and uh, you get what's called a reduced load. You can find it in the CMP forums. Uh, maybe I'll put a link down in the description. So number one, I want to test the accuracy. Uh, number two, there's there's been a lot of talk that these types of loads won't even cycle the bolt in the op rod because they're so light. I'm running uh, 125 grain Pro Hunters from Sierra today and uh, the lowest load is going to be 33.5. So got my target down there, 25 yards, and uh, we're going to see how we do. Okay, we've got 33.5 grains of IMR 4064. On top of that, we got 125 grain Not even joking. pushing the up rod all the way back. Thirty-six point zero. Nothing.
basically what I'm doing is any load that doesn't cycle I'm not going to waste the ammo. I've got a Springfield 1903 that uh, loves this kind of powder range so I'm probably just going to save them for uh, 1903 practice. Unfortunately <clears throat> I didn't load above 36 target range was 40 so God willing they're gonna cycle cycling pretty reliably. wasn't latched in. Fifty point oh has uh, significantly more recoil than the ones in the lower range. Uh, 33.5 was wonderful. It was like an AR-15, but as you guys saw, if it doesn't cycle the op rod, there's really not too much I can do with it unless I want to, you know, rack the bolt every single time. But, uh... Now I've got some heavier bullets for some long range competition shooting. These are 175 grain SMKs topped with uh, 45.5 grains of IMR 4064.
Got back from shooting a few hours ago. I'm going to try to get through this as quickly as I can to show you the accuracy of the different hand loads I tested tonight. All right. So first, we're going to have a look at these super light loads. I was running through the M1 Garand, the ones that were short stroking the entire time. Okay, this group right here, 33.5. Results, 1.03 inches. Remember that's 25 yards using iron sights. Over here we've got 34.0 at 1.44 inches. Definitely opening up a bit. 34.5, 1.75. That's opening up even more. And uh, beyond that, I had had so many short strokes that the next number of sequences I went through, I shot one. And if the grand didn't cycle, then I simply put them away. Like I mentioned, I can use them in my 1903. So once I got beyond the really light loads, I got to 40.0. And this one here is pretty significant because it's all the way down to 0.58 inches. Really phenomenal. The next one over here at 40.5 grains is 1.30 inches. Definitely opening up a bit. Next one I ran was 50.0 at 1.07 inches. This one is 50.5. That opened up to 1.32. So those were all the different loads with the 125 grain Sierra Pro Hunters. Now we're going to move on to the 175 grain SMKs. I'm using the same powder, IMR 4064, and slightly different loads. First one we have here is 44.5 grains at .74 inches. What we've got here is 45.0 at 1.17 inches. And down here, this one's pretty significant, 45.5 grains, 0.41 inches. Really, really phenomenal accuracy, um, especially at iron sights. So. Those were my results. I'd like to say thank you guys for watching. If you've watched this far, um, maybe you could go one step further. Do me a favor. In the comments, uh, let me know if there's anything I can do to improve my, um, my videos here. I'm fairly new to YouTube. I've uploaded a you know, couple over the last few years, but I've got my first video editing software and I'm able to kind of graph these things together let me know if there's anything that you'd like to see more of, anything that you don't want to see again. Um, give me some pointers. Thanks a lot for your help.